I am Andrea Viswanathan, a nine-year-old EFI student from Seychelles. I am with you today to report about the challenges here in Seychelles concerning the sustainability of our coral reefs. Coral reefs are the most diverse marine ecosystems on the planet. They cover only 1% of the ocean floor, but 25% of all fish species spend at least part of their life cycle in this ecosystem. Coral reefs are ecologically and economically valuable, which through tourism and fisheries generate billions of dollars and create jobs. Unfortunately, coral reefs are severely threatened here in Seychelles. Some threats are natural, such as diseases, predators, storms and climate change. Other threats are caused by humans, including sedimentation, unsustainable fishing practices, pollution, etc., which is raising ocean temperatures and causing ocean acidification. Coral reef depletion and limited recovery may threaten many regions that inhabit them and the communities near them. When they support fear of fish, plants and animals, it affects the attraction of tourist destinations like Seychelles, impact on island nation with lesser fishing and shoreline erosion. Most corals contain an algae called zoosanthidae, which produces oxygen and gives the beautiful colors to the corals. With the global warming, these algae are expelled and result in coral bleaching. In late 90s, the unusual warming made El Nino bleach over 90% of the Seychelles corals. As oceans absorb carbon dioxide produced by fossil fuels, they become more acidic. This affects the ability of corals to grow their skeletons and form the foundation for coral reefs. In order to curb the impact of coral, government regulates the environment and fishing practices in Seychelles through the ministries of environment and blue economy and other agencies. Other organizations in Seychelles have taken the following actions to mitigate coral bleaching and rescue corals. Introduce a new coral reef policy, restoration of coral using heat resilient super corals, aquaculture farms for future corals, repair coral bleaching damage, creation of marine protected areas and coral gardening, encourage to use non-toxic ocean safe sunscreen. Despite all these initiatives from the shells, mitigating global warming and protecting coral reefs are everyone's responsibility. Therefore, make your travels more eco-friendly. Don't fish your boat near a coral reef. Snorkel and scuba dive with care. Avoid touching coral reefs. Educate people about coral reefs. The whole world population should do their best to reduce the CO2 emission and maintain a sustainable environment for the survival of the future generations.